Hey guys, how are you? All right, welcome to another video for my creative year. Uh, this month of June, our topic is space. Last week I shared my creative space with you and at the beginning of the month I gave you some tips on space storage, one of my favorite tips um, and links. This week we're gonna actually talk about literal space and the, the prompt is galaxy. Um, so I'm going to do a galaxy um, journaling tutorial for you here. I've got a specific idea for this pair of pages. And the first thing we're going to do is grab a flat brush. I know it's a little past it, but it's my favorite brush. Um, and I'm going to grab some, actually some black gesso because I have it and I need to use it. Like what's the point of having this stuff if you don't use it, right? So let me grab that, I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is move the garbage can out of my way, which you can't see. Okay, is I want to do a page that sort of looks like there's a rip in the fabric and through the hole in the fabric, you're seeing the galaxy. It's an interesting idea, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my Bic Crystal ballpoint pen. It's just a plain old Bic Crystal pen. to sort of draw something that could be perceived as a crack or hole in the fabric of my page, of time, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't have to be perfect because remember this is just like the sketch. We're going to be putting black gesso on here and doing other stuff. So this is just the initial initial sketch. cracked glass and what cracked glass or ripped something ripped with a big hole in it looks like and that's what you want to draw or at least that's what I want to draw okay so now I'm going to take my black gesso hopefully if it's not too thick and gross which it might be oh there we go that's attractive <laughs> and I'm going to paint this center part this brush is going to be way too big.
Okay, I know it looks like a big blob right now, but you have to just trust me. Um, well, you don't have to. It would be nice if you did. Um, so paint, you know, a big blob on your page. And let's go from there. And we are going to paint a galaxy. I'm going to take some of this leftover paint and put it on a scrap piece of paper and let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm covering up most of what's not painted with black gesso with some painter's tape. Now, I'm not being super careful to cover up all of it, um, but I'm just covering up most of it. I just don't want to have to be super, super careful with what we're going to do next. I put some painter's tape out on my table, which is covered in a fabric cutting mat. And I'm just using an X-Acto knife to cut pieces off. Okay, like that. The painter's tape should stick well enough but not rip up the paper when we do the next part. So we're gonna need a some kind of mixing dish. I'm gonna need a little brush, something not too big, some water, and some paint. So I've got some neons here and I've got some white and I think I'm gonna find some purple um, or turquoise or something. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Sorry, I had to answer some questions from the desi my design team. So I'm going to, I have my Dina Wakely paints out here on the table. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to use Ocean, which is, I love that color. And let's see, eggplant. Aren't those pretty? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is add some of these colors, including the neon, some of the neons. So I'm going to add a little bit of ocean and eggplant to my dish. It's probably way too much eggplant, but that's okay. I'm going to take a pink and the yellow, and maybe the orange. That might be way too many colors, but let's give it a shot, shall we? So these are little sample pots that were sent to me by my friend Cindy Utter of Derivan um, Neons. For She wanted me to try them. Which I have been trying, and they're fine. They're good. I like them. Um, there's lots of good neons out there. It doesn't really matter what brand you use or what kind of paint it is. I, I used uh, craft ones for years. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my colors and I'm gonna just do sort of do this. My brush is damp. I'm gonna blot and move the color around in a sort of abstract pattern. We're trying to do like, oop, uh, like nebulas and things, right? Just trust me. If you've never done a galaxy before, just trust me. Trust me. Blend it out. a brush and close that one and then I'm going to go in the orange I'm going specifically in a certain color order because if I'm not waiting for the paints to mix and the orange happens to mix with the yellow it's just going to make another color of orange but I'm not going to get mud
and I'm going to put the lid on that one and then I'm going to go with the pink and I think you get the idea. You hear my computer just going crazy? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, I like to put the colors like in threes. Now your neons are pretty transparent. They're not opaque colors generally. Um, they're also generally not light fast and they're hard to photograph. So if you're doing a piece that you're going to want to replicate and scan or photograph, I recommend using bright regular colors rather than neon colors. Just take it from my experience. Alright, so now we're going to go with um, these. The teal and the, um, what is it, ocean and uh, eggplant. I did get my heat gun out because I was tired of waiting to be honest. So it's out here on the table. Now you could do this without doing all that taping, um, but then you'd have to be a lot more careful, honestly, than I'm being. Because I'm, I'm honestly not being very careful. I'm not because I'm not waiting anything for anything to dry. I am being careful like where I put this purple because if I put it with the orange, it's going to just make brown. I don't want a brown galaxy. <laughs> um, but if I put it with the pink or the blue, I'll just get an, a different shade of purple. So that that's actually okay. I'm all right with that. Also, sort of come in with a baby wipe, do some blotting. Okay, I'm going to take this is just white paint, a few different brands and shades of white where the tubes were almost empty, and so I put them in this little container. I'm gonna have to at some point find a different container. So, I'm gonna just grab a little bit of it and put it on my dish. I'm going to add a little water and grab a clean brush and mix some watery white paint and do that. This is why you want the tape, really, because you could do it without again, like I said, but it would be very messy. I'm going to take some of the blobs of white and I'm going to add more water to them so they kind of look like uh, fog, like a foggy nebula. That's what I always want to describe it as anyway. I don't, that's I'm sure not an accurate astrological term. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> but it's the one that seems right for me. You get too much water, just get in there like that.
Okay, we're going to dry it. It's not dry completely, but I want to add some more stars, so I'm going to take my long skinny brush and my white paint. Okay, we're drying time. the tape off carefully I'm going to take a Stabilo pencil in black and go around the edges and then a water brush. Baby wipe. I'm going to grab a clean one. It's a little bit too much Stabilo pencil. Oops. That might be where our words need to go. <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's actually try smearing the Stabilo pencil with the baby wipe, actually, now that we did that. I like that. A happy accident.
The Stabilo pencil, for those of you who don't know, is water soluble, so that's why you can move it around with your baby wipe. Okay, I'm going to take some white paint because I love the way that it looks. I do think it's a little darker than I initially wanted to do, so let's take some white of the white paint. And a clean, a clean brush. take some metallic pens. I've got some choices here, but I think I'm going to use um, these are Uniball Signo pens. I've got a gold one and a silver one. And we're going to use them to create some metallic stars in our galaxy portion of our page here randomly. You can put them anywhere that you want to. The white is nice, but the pearl colors are better. Try to vary the sizes. And location. Okay, and then the gold. Uniball Signo are great pens for your mixed media work and your art journaling. Um, everybody really loves the white and knows the white one, but they do make colors. So you might want to check them out the next time you're buying pens. They're not super expensive, but they're not always easy to find. I live in a pretty big city and I have trouble finding them. Okay, I like the way that is turning out. Boy, howdy. All right, now I do think I want to add, just because I have it, and you know, it's taken up space in my craft room. I might as well use it, right? Glitter glue. So this is a stickles and diamond. Oh yay, it's not dried up. <laughs> I kind of wondered. 
you can put these again put these everywhere it's just gonna it's gonna give your galaxy some sparkle and shine I'm kind of putting them on top of other dots that are already on here either from the splatter or from the gel pen may not even be able to see that but it definitely looks like somebody punched a hole in the wall and when they did that you could see the galaxy which I love I found a quote online that I want to use on the page so we're gonna do that but I'm gonna dry this first okay I'm gonna use my favorite journaling pen my Bic crystal and the quote is, stars can't shine without darkness. I love that. I'm going to, I need a clip. I need a clip. Because this curly page is going to drive me crazy. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay. So, so I'm going to start over here. I try not to get my hands into anything that's still maybe wet. I may go over my letters a little bit and make them darker with a black Papermate Inkjoy pen, which is a, a gel pen. If you don't like your writing, you could put your quote on by typing it on the computer and pasting it on. Uh, using a lettering stencil like from the office supply store, using stickers.
stars can't shine without darkness. That's my galaxy this week. What does yours look like? That's it for today. If you're not a member of my creative year and you'd like to be, the link's in the description below. Um, we would love if you share your uh, art and inspiration with us over in my creative year. And I would love to see what your galaxies look like. Don't forget, though, the most important thing, besides like, share, and subscribe, if you would, to my YouTube channel, which is go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.